Sony. Hi, how's everybody doing? Good, all right, great. I want to thank everybody and echo Larry's sentiments about the folks that came to our panels today. Thank you so much. We really enjoyed talking to you, having you there, and we look forward to seeing more of you there tomorrow. Um, so last night in his keynote, John Smedley gave us the honor of announcing our next DLC, Home Turf. And tonight, I have the honor of providing some more details about that to you guys. So, what is home turf? Well, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a place for our players to call home in DC Universe Online, okay? It introduces a brand new housing system. For the first time, players are gonna finally be able to realize their dream and create a lair in DCUO. They're going, whoop, I went all the way back. I'm so sorry, one second here. There we go, home turf. <laughs> Players are going to be able to create a lair in DC Universe Online. They're going to be able to choose from a variety of different floor plans, each with its own theme. Some of those are provided with the DLC. Others will be available on the marketplace for you. You're going to be able to set up that lair, decide what city you want it to be in, whether it's Metropolis or Gotham. You're going to be able to choose what theme you want. There's a variety from cave to sewer to bunker, penthouse, all sorts of things you can choose from. You're going to be able to choose where the entrance to that lair is so that you and your friends can have access to it at any time. Lairs offer you a little bit more than just a, 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 a space around you. You're going to be able to find hundreds of items in the game that you'll be able to trade with other players or keep for yourself that you can decorate your lair with. It's going to allow you to really push the themes of your character and provide a really unique space that's tailored just for our players, just for you, okay? Here's some examples of the layers. You can see the Eastern style here with a bunch of the different props that you can get in there. But that being said, layers are so much more than a place to just hang your cape. They're also a place where you can have some conveniences that are only available to you in the Watchtower or the Hall of Doom, the HQs and the uh, safe houses. These are amenities basically, from vendors to mailboxes to R&D stations. Players are going to be able to choose what, what's most convenient to them in their play style and be able to set those up in their lair. You can see here some of the pieces that we have. We'll be adding storage space, which our players really like, in the form of a safe, okay? We'll be having all kinds of amenities you can choose from, including which is a mainframe. This is the heart of the lair. Think of it as your very own back computer, okay? And as you update it, as you upgrade it, sorry, you're going to gain more and more abilities and more and more things that you can actually bring to bear in combat. You'll be able to have your own spy satellite, like, like Brother Eye, Batman has Brother Eye. You'll be able to call down supply drops in combat, or maybe even an attack, like an orbital strike. Quite possibly, you're going to be able to get some followers as your lair gets upgraded. Maybe some henchmen or one of these guys, a sidekick. That'd be pretty cool. But that's just the beginning. Layers are, are really going to add a lot to the game. Uh, we're really looking forward to getting more details out there, especially about the content. Let me tell you a little bit about that. Inside the lair, we're offering players PvP duels. These are one-on-one -on -one battles with, with extended rounds, multiple rounds of combat with exciting cutscene transitions in between, giving a real sense of momentum to the victor. You're going to really be able to establish your home turf in this DLC. On the exterior, outside the lair, we're adding new content to four of the most iconic locations in the cities of Gotham and Metropolis. Arkham Asylum, Ace Chemicals, Strikers Island, and Steelworks. There's going to be many solo missions that you get to partake in on a daily basis. We're also adding challenge modes to these uh, locations as well. You'll be able to take on various bosses inside these locations. Players for the first time will be able to get inside the Steelworks, which they've been asking for. It's a really fun location. So that's the basics of home turf. Gives you an idea of the pillars. There's so many more details to share, which we'll be uh, revealing in the, in the weeks and months to come about various collections or other rewards like styles, weapon styles, and things like that. And we'll share those details with you as we go forward. That's coming in early 2013. But what else do we have planned for you? I want to let you know. I'm going to tell you about a, a few of the other DLCs that we have coming out next year. But first, I want to let you know that some of the terms or titles I'm going to be using right now are placeholder. They're internal, so they could change. But the spirit of these DLCs is going to remain the same. Future Batman and future Lex Luthor, they were at the climax of DLC 3, the battle for Earth. They halted the advance of Brainiac. Then they jumped down into the nexus of reality and have since disappeared. They're actually waging a war in time. It's called Origin Crisis. 
They're trying to erase the origins of various heroes and villains so they never come to be. Will you be able to travel with future Batman to Krypton and prevent Lex Luthor from sabotaging the rocket that brought Superman to Earth to become Earth's greatest hero? It's up to you. Will you be able to travel back to Crime Alley, witness the murder of Batman's parents and what formed him into the great crusader of Gotham City? Yes, you will. Some cool stuff coming in Origin Crisis. Wrapping up that storyline with Brainiac, we're pushing it into the next chapter. What else do we have coming for you here? Well, building on the technology and the features for home turf with the player housing system, we are going to do halls of power. We are going to bring league halls to DC Universe Online. <laughs> Who does not want their own watchtower? I want my own watchtower. These league halls will be a place for you and your league to coordinate your efforts and take on the content and the challenges that are in the game. There'll be places that you can customize and celebrate the achievements of your league. Now, we totally understand that we've had a lot of feedback on the forums. We've been listening to that from our players. So there'll be many updates surrounding halls of power that will improve the features of our league UI, our league management, and our league features. Okay? So look for more news on that as we get closer to DLC, to the uh, Halls of Power DLC. Another thing we're going to be adding around that time, armories, basically these suit tubes. You're going to be able to store style and appearances along with loadouts, along with specs for your powers and your skills, and you'll be able to change those on the fly when you're out in the field. That's right. You can clap for that. Cool stuff. So do you want to set up a kind of look so that when you go into Ace Chemicals, you have your hazmat kind of suit on? You can do that easily. You don't have to go and carry all these, uh, you don't have to respect your style or anything like that. You'll have the loadouts ready to go and all your skills as well. So we're really excited about that feature. Trigon. There was a big cliffhanger at the end of the uh, storyline with Trigon where he was trying to enter into our realm and he was fighting with the, with the Titans themselves and his daughter Raven. She became a portal for him into this world. Well, he's here now, and we're going to wrap up that storyline next year. He's going to actually transform Gotham into a hellish version of itself. You're going to see an entirely new landscape to the city, off in Trigon's dimension. And you'll be battling his sons and daughters as they vie for control to inherit his crown. So there's some really cool stuff coming with that as well. So, home turf, beginning of next year. And we're following that up with three other exciting DLCs, Halls of Power, Origin Crisis, and the Trials of Trigon. And we look forward to sharing more of those with you as we go forward. So thank you very much.